Once you have collected the room key from a library officer, turn the light on and flip the door sign over to let others know that recording is taking place. In the room you will find a camera, two lights, a one-touch recording hub and a green screen. Locate the power button on the left hand side of the camera and turn it on. This is the only button on the camera that you need to touch as the one-touch recording system does the rest for you. The confidence monitor will show a live feed of the camera so that you can see how the footage looks as you record. To turn it on, locate the power button on the right hand side of the device and hold it down until the display turns on. To turn the lights on, go to the back of the unit and hold the power button down until the LED panel lights up. The left knob will adjust the brightness of the light, while the right knob adjusts the warmth of the light. We will go over optimal lighting setups for green screen keying in another video. To begin recording, you need to insert a USB with at least 2GB of storage into the one-touch recording system located at the back of the room. One thing to note, any footage captured that is under 2 minutes long will not be saved to the USB. Once the USB is inserted and your scene is set up correctly, press the record button to begin capturing your footage. You can pause at any time by pressing the pause button and you can resume again by pressing either the pause or record buttons. The mark button will make cuts in your footage for you, making for an easier editing process. To end the recording, press the stop button. Before removing your USB from the hub, Make sure that the small green light next to the USB is solid green and is not flashing. Once you have finished your recording, turn the lights, camera and confidence monitor off before leaving the room. Turn the room light off on your way out, flip the door sign back over and make sure that you return the room key to the library services desk. The setup for Film Studio 1 and Film Studio 2 are the same. The only difference is that in Film Studio 2, the green screen is retractable. So if you would prefer to record on a black background, use Film Studio 2.